Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Capricorn for August of 2011. And this also applies if you have a Capricorn ascendant. Well, my dear Capricorns, this is the month for putting energy into your relationships, into your creativity. We've got Mars in your seventh house pretty much all month. So this is a time to be very proactive, to be more assertive in your relationships. If you felt as though maybe people have been taking advantage of you or people have had it their way, um, it's time for you to get it your way in your relationships. It's time to be proactive. If you want to be in a relationship, make sure you're out there. Make sure you're socialising. Make sure you're in places where you can meet somebody, not sitting at home hoping it's going to happen. It wouldn't be the month for an online relationship. This is the month for um, actually in-person relationships, meeting people, all kinds of relationships, going out with a friend, going out with a lover, going out with your spouse, whatever it is, putting energy into this relationship area will really pay off for you. So really go for it this month. We've got a Mercury retrograde this month between the 3rd and the 25th of the month. So it's happening for you Capricorns in your ninth and your eighth houses. So what this is going to mean from you, for you, apart from the normal things, which is issues potentially with communications. So make sure you don't buy a new computer, preferably during this time period. However, if you've been researching getting a new computer and you're really sure about what you want when Mercury wasn't retrograde, during the retrograde, you may well find a bargain and be able to buy it. But no starting new projects, new very important projects, and no doing negotiating of very important deals during this time, uh, because the thinking processes are a little slower. But the way you can make best use of these energies is um, particularly by reassessing your education. It's happening in your ninth house, so that's looking at um, your education what you may need to learn, what you may want to study, what you may want to teach. You might want to reappraise going back to school or studying or running your own course or coaching other people. Um, if you've had anything connected with a court case going on, it could well complete during this Mercury retrograde. We've got the Mercury retrograde in your eighth house, so it's time to reassess any kind of joint finances you've got, any kind of investments you hold your tax situation, your accountant, your insurance company, your insurance cover, your bank, all of this, it's time to reappraise it, to check your bills, to check the money you're paying out. It's really time to look over it and to get through your paperwork. Wonderful time for doing your paperwork and anything connected with finances needs to be paid attention to in great detail. You may find you're being overcharged you're paying too much. You may be able to reduce your outgoings considerably. So really take advantage of the Mercury retrograde and do your paperwork and do your homework. A lot happening in this ninth house, so great time actually for planning travel, for thinking about travel, for anything with an international flavour, for making connections with people from abroad, for networking, for doing some online business potentially during this uh, month is very well aspected. And also the middle of the month, we've got a conjunction of Venus and the Sun in your eighth house. So this could be a good time for negotiating with anything financial. Also a possible time when you might have somebody give you some money. You might get a grant, you might be sponsored, somebody might invest in you. That's also very well aspected for you, for the, also for the first couple of weeks of this month. The potential is there for you. Um, you are redefining your career path, where you want to go. There's a lot of def a lot of changes happening, of course, for you, dear Capricorns. Pluto in your sign, Pluto square to Uranus all month. So a lot of external things affecting you over which you feel as though you haven't got a lot of control. Of course, that's frustrating. But put the focus on your relationships this month, on your finances a great deal, and also on making some international connections. Don't forget Jupiter's in your fifth house. So anything creative is very well aspected and anything with children, anything involving bringing out the child within you, 
that, that lets you have some fun and that's, that, that also lets you have some relaxing time. Anything with RE, Mercury retrograde, relax as well and get some time out of that very busy schedule. I know many of you are experiencing a lot of upheaval in the home and your environment area, but please try to take some time out and to relax and enjoy doing something you just love doing. There you have it, my dear Capricorns. I wish you a great month and I thank you very much for listening. Bye for now.